Okay. All right, let's prove this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the left-hand side, and we'll recopy it here to make our proof a little easier to follow. So 1 over tangent plus tangent theta. And then we're going to use the property that tangent theta is really sine theta over cosine, okay, plus tangent. We're going to copy it over here. And since it's 1 over the fraction here, uh, we're going to have a reciprocal. So cosine theta gets to be the top, and sine theta got on the bottom. Okay. Now what we're going to do is rewrite tangent theta as 1 over sine over cosine theta. Okay, so far, so good. We have two fractions we'll try to add. We need a common denominator, which is sine theta times cosine theta. If you were to look, the top one needs a cosine theta. So we're going to multiply top and bottom by cosine theta. Okay? And then this one, if we write it on the bottom right over here, just making sure you can see it. So I'm going to multiply sine and sine on the top and bottom. The bottom gives me the common denominator. Top gives me the sine squared theta. Okay? Now using identity that sine theta squared plus cosine theta is 1, we're going to have 1 on the top and the bottom was not changed. And this is what we're looking for, that equal to right hand side. All right, have a confident day.